Yeah, the one thing I didn't realize and didn't remember, I think I probably knew this, you know, back in 96, but you don't get XP for doing quests. This is kind of like old school D&D where, um, where if you went by the rule book, you only, you know, you only got XP from um, killing things. Actually, that's a good point. So, basically, you know, old school D and D. Um, you're if if you're a good GM, you figured ways to give XP for other things than just killing things. But if you went directly by the rule book, we're talking about you know first edition, second edition, advanced D and D, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, the only thing you got XP for was killing things. This game took that same thing. If if you looked, if you remember earlier. I was 73% when I started today. I just finished that quest. I'm still 73%. <laughs> so the only thing you get, the only thing that you get experience from is from these three things, these first two, and this. That's it. If that, So if I don't use any of that during the quest while I'm trying to do the quest, that's it. I just get money. That's so... So yeah, so that's the one thing about this type of game where games nowadays definitely do more of a a lot better as far as what they want to give you um, of what they give you XP for is more interactions, things like that. And yes, you still get XP for combat and all that kind of good stuff, but more of the stuff, more of the things that you get um, XP for is for interactions, for everything. Everything you do, you get a little bit of something. And just depending on how hard that something is, is how much XP you get for it. So that's enough, That's a little difference between games back back then, like this one, and games nowadays. So I, I, I do like nowadays more. He goes, no, everything I do should be something. But yeah, so that's, you know, that's that.